Greetings fellow gamers and viewers. Before we jump into the video, only few of our viewers have actually subscribed, literally just 0.1%. So if you enjoy this content do subscribe, so we can make more amazing videos for you. Welcome to 9 to 5 game. The best PC joystick is one that will go the distance, whether that be through the endless void of space in Star Wars, squadrons are over your house in Microsoft Flight Simulator. These joysticks provide a level of control and immersion you can't get with a gamapit or keyboard and mouse. Just ask anyone with an at-home cockpit setup. The intensity that comes from manually throttling up or pulling out of a nose dive to avoid a crash is second to none. If you're looking get into the virtual piloting scene, a joystick can be a stepping stone for your future home cockpit. The joysticks in this video all require minimal setup. Number 1. Thrustmaster Hoda's Warthog. The Thrustmaster Warthog is hands down the best PC joystick you can buy. It's beautifully made, looks like it was ripped straight out of an A10, and comes with an industrial strength, that means the only thing left in our post-apocalyptic future will be a bunch of cockroaches trying to figure out how to use these sticks. Sure, it's an expensive unit, but you will know your money's been well spent, as soon as you lift the lid on the packaging and pull the setup out. The stick alone weighs a kilo even before it's been screwed down onto the solid, wide metal base. That's something to behold, but the throttle is something else. It is one of the finest pieces of PC peripheral engineering I've ever experienced. Number 2. Thrustmaster TCA Side Stick Airbus Edition. With the arrival of Microsoft Flight Simulator and Star Wars Squadrons, we saw a sonic boom in interest for compatible flight sticks. The Thrustmaster TCA Side Stick Airbus Edition arrived just in time and swiftly sold out. But it's back now, and a solid upgrade for any one of long haul pilot looking to ditch the controller for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's good for other games, of course, but as a piece of officially licensed Airbus kit, it feels best suited to the flight sim of the moment. With that in mind, it features a fluid and responsive control with a comfortable stick bolted on for long haul flights. The joystick can also be reconfigured to your liking with a modular design, making this stick particularly friendly to lefties. Number 3. FR Tech Raptor Mach 1 Hodas Combo. Coming in as a smart combo by the Raptor Mach 1 Hodas is a sturdy, no mounting necessary setup for getting stuck straight into your flight sim of choice. While Microsoft Flight Simulator didn't suggest any preset button layouts for it, I see this as a plus as it means you can assign buttons that make sense to you as you go through the training process, no need for the arduous process of cleaning up pre-assigned buttons. The Raptor Mach 1 stick has just enough buttons and hats accessible to the fingers and thumb, two of the triggers even have a safety lock feature, so you don't end up kicked off the squad for accidental friendly fire. Number 4. Thrustmaster T-Flight Hodas X. The Thrustmaster T-Flight Hodas X is a testament that you don't have to spend a fortune to get a good stick. It's a much cheaper build and design than the Warthog, but for a tenth of the ticket price, you can forgive the use of plastic and lack of buttons and hats. The key elements are there. The detachable throttle is probably the neatest feature, given that you're going to need easy access to your keyboard for its extra buttons, being able to split these components around it is a definite advantage. You get plenty of programmable buttons too, but they feel very much the sort you'd expect to find on a budget controller. Number 5. Thrustmaster TCA Yoke Pack Boeing Edition. While officially Boeing licensed, the Thrustmaster Boeing Edition Yoke is not an FAA certified piece of kit. Touting the same tilting, pendular movement you'd expect from a real Boeing aircraft, the yoke swings back and forth intuitively as you pitch up and down. It's a much more pleasant experience to the push-pull motion you'd find on the majority of yokes on the market, even at the higher end. That really makes a difference to the immersion, I can almost feel the g-force as I pull back on the control column. It moves intuitively as you pitch the plane's nose up or down, and is so much nicer than the push-pull motion of many yokes on the market. If you have watched till here, please make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon for more news, walkthroughs and much more exciting content about gaming and tech. Do like 9 to 5 game if you love to watch these videos. And don't forget to share it to your friends and fellow gamers.